guys we made it i'm here hi and welcome to well-bred wardrobe i'm kristen now filming in australia welcome to sunny sydney everything that i brought with me fit into two boxes a full-size international suitcase a carry-on suitcase and a backpack as my personal item stuff for straya why did I bring what I brought? Honestly, in the last few hours leading up to the trip, I was pulling stuff out of boxes, second guessing and making different decisions. Now, to be fair, I did also leave a chair and two tubs that will come with me next year. Picking everything on the plane was by far the cheapest way to get everything over, but they limit the number of boxes and suitcases you can bring, and my nerves played the other role. There are very strict guidelines on what can be brought into the country, and I didn't want to get hung up in customs, waiting for things to get through. We'd be sorry. Just declare it. Just declare it. When you fill out this card, if you have something to declare, just declare it. Sorry, but it's a, a rare pick me kumquat. Some things were better to be left and collect next year. We made it. Before we get into all things that are new here, we're going to need to travel back in time and see what I packed and why. Let's go two weeks back in time when I'm saying goodbye to my friends at the bins for my very last trip and still looking for those perfect items to bring with me to restart Well Read Wardrobe. It's a little bit surreal that it's my last time here. At least till next June when I come back to visit family. Don't leave us! <laughs> We need you in Washington. Look how tall I am when I'm next to Melissa. Oh yeah, everyone's tall next to me. I'm, I'm a hot. Oh, look at all the stuff you're walking Yay. Melissa's. Crazy camera angle. Nice. <laughs> My last bag. Oh, those are cute. Those are for you, right? Yep. That pillow. And then, oh, I, I looked at that too and I was like, see if I was staying and I have my own house. Yeah, uh, that's coming for me. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. And then that. Oh, my, okay. There is more under there. It's upside down. Trick or treat. <laughs> and then, which is wanted. Small little cart I've got for my kids and for me. And like only a tiny, tiny handful under here for thread up some dresses for them. Nice. Otherwise it's my new my new Target wardrobe. Thank you, Bins. <laughs> and I have too much. I have too much. And it is time to let go and finalize some decisions. I've been collecting these items and deciding, yeah, I want to bring them with me. I've also had to do a lot of research. I'm using Poshmark Australia. And the sales there look to be small and slow comparatively. It just hasn't caught on yet. I will also be utilizing eBay, and so I've been using them in my research as well. I am both tired of decision making and also I feel like I'm getting better at it. I am letting go a lot more easily than I was in the beginning. Let's talk lingerie and intimates. When I was in Australia in 2020, I did notice there was a Victoria's Secret in the mall. However, it was a tiny shop. It was like a mini Victoria's Secret. And the only things they had were perfume. I believe, oh, I can't remember which city. At least one city in Australia has a lingerie department. I went onto their web shop and had a peek around and the bras and underwear were very limited. Uh, when comparing to what we have in the States. With that being said, I did notice there was a sale market online utilizing eBay for panties and bras. So I will be bringing at least some of them over with me. I've cleared out most of my stock and the only ones that would come with me are Victoria's Secret or Pink. Just some prettier ones and ones that are branded, like this has pink. All the bras that I saw on their online shop all said Victoria's Secret up the strap. Every single one. Interesting, right? 
All of these bralettes are by Free People or Free People Intimately. That brand seems to do well over there, so those are all keep. Speaking of Free People, I did put these in brand order. Free People is a good seller over there as far as I can tell. These shorts are super cute, but flawed. I found a tiny little spot and I don't know they're so lightweight. That might still be worth it. Let's see what else we have. The next set is a matching Free People athletic wear legging and sports bra set. That is definitely coming. This dress I recently purchased at Value Village with the sole intention of bringing. So that's a yes, nice and lightweight as well. Another free people piece in the keep pile. I didn't even list this as soon as I bought it a few weeks ago, I knew it was destined to come with me. This next dress is absolutely gorgeous. It's a full length maxi dress called Endless Summer. That's for sure coming. Another maxi length dress, this in a plus size, 1X and it is by Anthropology, followed by another Anthropology midi dress. And remember, I am headed into the springtime, so I am looking to bring lightweight spring and summer items. These pants are more of a winter weight. They're Anthropology, and I think we can let these ones go. Anything I don't take with me will end up in a thread up box. Next we have the Tory Burch sweater vest. It's extremely lightweight, and I think this is spring and summery enough. Ooh, tricky, bathing suits. I did want to bring a couple bathing suits with me because beach season, but in looking at the weight of everything, if I need to get rid of something, I feel like Australia is known for its bathing suits, and these, may not live up to their standards. So let's do a little bit more research on how these sell overseas. This next piece is an Australian brand called Covers. It's a really cool piece. It is vintage. It's got all these cool buckles and details. But when I researched after purchasing it from the bins, it does not sell for very much. And it doesn't have a high sell through weight. Right. So for the weight of this piece and knowing that I want to limit some items, we're going to say goodbye to that one. Oh, same as these. So this is a brand called Snow Angels made in Australia. And when I looked it up, it has a really high retail value, but I also found that this is their older label. It's a small company. It's a ski wear resort compression type legging company and I'm not seeing comps like two in the world have sold and for like 15 bucks so I don't need to bring those with me this next brand witchery is one that I know I'll find a lot of overseas it's a mall brand and I'd equate it to something like White House black market so I don't need to bring this back with me in order to flip it over there. I'm going to send it to ThreadUp as just an experiment and see how they price it because that's the kind of stuff I can bring with me to the States next year to fill a box if it's a good brand. Oh, this next skirt, uh, Muschino, Muschino, Muschino. I still don't know how to say it. That's I bring over and sell for sure. This knit dress, even though not totally the right season, is St. John. That brand does really well over there, especially with the exchange rates. I am looking to bring better brands. That's a keep. And now we're in the Lulu section. I've been pulling out all the Lululemon I had in stock, piling it up to bring with me, but now I need to decide if it's actually good quality enough or worn. This piece looks to be in really good condition and still has the tag, so that's a yes. This bra is an older style and does not have the size dot, so that's a no. We're going to send that 
off to consignment. These next joggers, we're going to double check that they have the size tag and call them a keep. These leggings have their full tag. They're in good condition. They can come. And these shorts have some pilling. Let's double check all of these for tags. Just a minute. Okay, both the shorts and the black leggings have a size dot. They're older styles, but in fairly good condition. This next shirt I know also has its size dot and is in good condition. And this one is older and has a lot of pilling. So let's leave this one behind. This camo sweater is the wrong season, but because it's a pricier Lulu item, I'm going to take it. I also know it's the same size as this cardigan, also Lulu. So hopefully those will sell together. This is a girlfriend collective plus size piece. It is a pair of leggings and a sports bra. If it was my size, I would just keep it and wear it. The sell through rate in Australia, as far as I could tell, was about 50%, but that's 12 out of 24 listings. You don't see it over there too often, and it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. I think I'm going to pass on this, sell it here. Next, we have a Revolve brand, also Australian brand, Shonda Joy, and that's new with tags. We're gonna bring that. This is extremely lightweight, and it is Isabel Morant, so that's coming. Now we've got some Suzanne pieces. This is definitely coming, as well as the other two by the same maker. This is a maxi dress, and here we have a shorter tunic corset style dress. It's kind of like a baby doll. Next we have, oh, Reformation. Definitely yes to all the Reformation pieces. We have a jumper, a mini dress, and a new with tags crop top. The only pair of jeans I will be bringing with me is by the brand Redone. That is an expensive maker, so that can come even though it's heavy. Now we have Alexander McQueen. We have both the, the scarf and a tank top. Those can both come in these pieces we saw earlier. So I said yes to all of this. Add in the free people. So we're gonna look up these shorts. Honestly, they're so, so lightweight. I think, I think that is a better choice on an iffy item than say the Lululemon. And then all the bras added together. Actually, this one can stay. I'm not seeing animal print do well these days, even though it's back in stores. Okay, I'll be putting it into a bag sealing it up, packing it down, seeing how much it weighs. And that means my no pile is all this right here. Okay, there's a better view of everything I just said no to. It's funny how some of these items made it to the S pile and were even purchased, you know, for under a dollar just in the last few weeks. But when I bring it home and I compare it to everything I already have and try to put a price tag on it, I see that I don't need it all. I don't need it all. There will be plenty of shopping opportunities over there as well, and I very much look forward to that. I just want to have some higher end brands as well as a start to my business to give myself a bit of security. Okay, now seeing it all in a bag like this and feeling the the heft I do feel like I would have walked out of the bins and spent 50 to 60 bucks which yeah is about 30 pounds let's find out for real all right we've zeroed out the box let's 
have this bag. Oh boy. <laughs> this kill doesn't go that high. All right, here are the bags. I don't know why I'm so excited for this, but I honestly am. I guess because it feels really real and it's, it's happy. I get to start my store all over and in a brand new place. Using these bags was a really good idea and I do recommend it if you're moving overseas. In the end, I wound up placing five and 10 pound bundles and used these to pack the one piece of furniture that I brought with me, as well as my other personal items, just adding that little extra volume so that each suitcase or box got up to its maximum allowed weight. Okay, that is friggin' awesome. That's about 10 pounds worth of clothes. Look at this tiny little bundle. Tiny. And I did it. The journey from Seattle to Sydney is now complete. Everything I had came straight onto the plane with me, and now it's here in my new home of Sydney, Australia. And yes, I brought the clothing rack too. <laughs> Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when another video goes live. If there's anything you're wanting to see here in Sydney over the next few weeks or I guess ever, I'm here now. One-way ticket. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to show you what's here. That's it for this chapter. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time.